part of my video I was in the record store and I bought one final from the record store day that was Magma and they said I'm going to the fair and I thought fair is there a fair and I went to the the place where they, they held fairs in Nijmegen and I went there and there was a, there was a vinyl fair and a music fair and uh, I went there and bought some very very nice things. The first uh, one thing I bought was this Dream Theater box set for LP uh, 3 CD uh, Life in London. Um, the last album, I don't know the title, it's this, this, this hand and this is from, from Metropolis. So uh, this is a bit a little bit uh, mixed together. The Distant Memories, that's the call, the, the, the CD of course, and uh, they play the whole um, album Metropolis Life and some other tracks. So four albums, four vinyls, very nice package in this box set. And then you get two vials. This is uh, very nice made, I think. Uh, typical, your typical uh, English English uh, stuff. To the phone cell, mountains, rocky. There are. Uh, this is the inner with the band. John Rudis, uh, of course, the Mike Bangini, James Lebrie and uh, Petrucci and um, Young, very nice, uh, very good music musicians. Uh, this is the back side with uh, the bus. So, finals and three CDs, so the CDs live in London. See the photo vinyl, typical English clock, maybe from the big band. And I think this, this maybe this is side one, I don't know exactly how they made it. One, this is then two. A clock, yeah, I think so. Side two, so this is how it's numbered, I think. What to say about Dream Theater? I also saw them a few times live. Uh, list, don't listen to them a lot lately. Um, Sometimes it gets too technical and uh, I lack a little, little of the emotion in the music, but I must say um, some emotion is very coming back in this this album. Of course, Scenes of a Memory, uh, very nice track for me is, uh, how do you call it, oh man, The Spirit Carries On with a very nice guitar solo. I listen to Fall Into The Light, also very nice. A stool warrior, also very nice uh, guitar work with with some feel in it. The, of course, they're very technical, they're very good, but sometimes it gets irritated, irritating for me to listen to that a very long time. I must say, this album I like very much. So, this is the first gatefold. This is the second one, also with a nice scenes from memory cover art made herein. Umbrellas, Rain, Big Ben, London. Also the band again. Now I'm searching for the drummer. It used to be the drummer from uh, from Pokemon Tree. Pokemon Tree, <laughs> excuse me, from Dream Theater. But I do I think Mike Mangini does a very good uh, job in the, this band. The front and this is the back side, also very English. Here you have the hype sticker and a booklet with some photographs. John Myung was the very best, best name to pronounce the bass player, who is, I think, underestimated maybe. He's very quiet, he's, this is back in the band and he plays unbelievable riffs. Some text and here the photographs from the James Rubri, Petrucci, Jonathan Rudis, Myung and Mike Mangini. So it was on the fair, I went into a German seller and uh, it was 40 euros so I was very happy for this, for this price to buy it. The surprise album, um, I saw this one and I thought wow what a very nice photograph this is. 
here you see some buildings and here you see someone person swimming jumping diving I don't know it did caught my eye and I thought yeah let's do it 8 euros for a double, double album it's a three side album it's, got, it's from Barrows it's an American band I think and it's Obsidian they made three four albums you see the three uh, album sides um, yeah, it's from Tom Sonnen in Germany, the label. This is the back side. Very nice instrumental, proggy, psych music. This was the hype sticker. Very nice surprise for me. So uh, let's see for one vinyl. This is side C and an empty, not etched, blank vinyl. And this is side 3. If you like... Uh, uh, this music kind of music for me psych without any singing this is maybe one to try only 500 copies are made if I'm correct so a very nice surprise for me this album from Burroughs Burroughs so another album let's see what I have that one is this my bloody Valentine this is the hype sticker re-release fully analog cut I got this uh, from uh, Michael uh, 45 audiophile has a very nice channel he showed all the uh, my bloody Valentine records I saw this one I thought yeah let's buy this one it's a uh, very nice uh, jacket so it's very thick carton it's a gatefold with one album Slow gaze, shoo shoo gaze music. Slow dive is in this category. My bloody Valentine. I didn't notice the band at all, so I have to be uh, listen to it a lot. But very nice made album. Good sound quality. Label in the color of the sleeve. Jacket. There's a download code goes with it. This is the inner, also very nice mate. And here are five art pieces of art in the same style as the album. So I have to listen to a lot, it's very slow, sludge, uh, how do you call it, a little bit, not dro a, bit a little bit drony kind of music, my bloody Valentine. Then I'm coming to the least, maybe the least who's watching my channel albums you expect from me maybe it's uh, I bought two jazz albums I bought this can only something else uh, for the knowers of jazz you see this is not the original cover um, this was uh, also in the bin 10 euros a piece a very nice album very for me uh, I'm not that good in jazz it's uh, easy listening jazz for me and I must say Miles Davis of course I know very good and he plays very nice on this album along with the saxophonist Karen Ball Overly. This is um, Vinyl Passion. So I asked for the man is it sounding good? He said yeah it's it's a nice quality. I think it sounds good. Of course they're very uh, it's not from Blue Note and Blue Note is the better sounding quality but, but for this price and I didn't know the music I'm very happy with this this copy. And also bought this one, Blue Train, also not the original cover, also from Vinyl Passion, also 10 euros. It's uh, for me maybe, uh, I don't know John Coltrane that well, the easy listening kind of John Coltrane, I like it. I listened to it a few times on my, uh, my headphone, Blue Train, very nice solos from all the instrumentals, piano, um, saxophone, uh, every, um, tenor sax, uh, trombone, bass, every solo is on here and it's sounding very good. It has, uh, did it have, does it have here a bonus track? No, this one not. The other album has a bonus track. But very nice um, jazz albums and for this price maybe nice to, to see if, if you're in the, in the record shop and you see this one, 
Sounds good. Not as good as Blue Note. But for a very nice price you have very nice jazz music. So that was my uh, buy for this uh, few weeks. Um, I have a lot of plans to buy yellow, but I must see if I can do that. I have a lot of music, I don't know if you know the, have the same problem. A lot of music in my shelves and I think, oh yes, this one I have and that one I have. And I have to do a lot of listening, but I like it very much. I have a very busy on my job yeah, now and to listen to music uh, gets me off of that pressure so enjoy your music uh, if you're streaming if you're listening to cds or to vinyl everything is fine just enjoy your music and have a tear and have a smile with your music until next time